got us as Conan over for the Team 1. Hey, on the team as well. Keith as well. Montville gonna be first up. Charging in immediately versus Blood Dagger. Got himself a bit of an evasion. Try to see if he can build up a better damage versus Montville. Kid a shot locking him down for a second. Does end up going in for a trinket to try to see if he can get a one up on Rogue. Gonna be a big hunt. Almost reconnects. So the Rogue is a new go in for a bit of a juke. Can he hunt from a mile away? He does get to. Catches up to the Rogue. He goes in for a vanish. That essence break, I think, does end up connecting. The Rogue goes in for a cloak of shadows just to make sure they get themselves the cleanest escape ever. If Monfell is careful, maybe they can use the Spectral Sight in order to find the Rogue and hopefully be able to catch him in a good situation. Does end up getting the Rogue into combat, rushing past him to rush back in, stun to follow, maybe big damage, gonna be tricky for the Rogue, I think, trying to see if he can set up a bit of a stun. Having a demon on your side, by the way, could be kinda good, especially to prevent the Rogue from being able to blind you correctly. Gonna be a vanish out of the Rogue, Monfil could always pick up the demon if you wanted to, just gotta I beam in every direction, I think slaying the demon, Pick it up a little bit of healing. Might not be a bad idea. Rushes past the rogue, puts himself in the combat. It's gonna be flagellation by the rogue. Trying to see if he can give himself a big over to Monfell. Is it gonna be the biggest go right now? Trying to go for a mystery. It's back to back slamming through. Oh my god, these did the flagellation thing. This is the burst that is getting nerfed this CSD. Literally nerfing flagellation value by 80%. If that tells you anything, the mastery. I want to see how much master how much mastery do you get? In just like way secret technique and all. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hey sir, hold on a second. Someone tell OG that. Oh, hey sir, that's not the rogue you're fighting. That's not the rogue you're supposed to be fighting, by the way. Blood Dagger is gonna be the one. Blood Dagger, you're gonna have to brush it in there. <laughs> gonna be a Blood Dagger. Try to see if he can get himself a setup versus a hey sir. Big drain without void. Soren It's gonna be a kid shot by the rogue. Drinking to follow. It's Hacer trying to see if he can be proactive. Yet another cheap shot by the rogue. Try to see if he can get a setup versus hey sir. Mindfully centered it to follow, but the sun right after him. Does himself the big go. Void erupts to follow. Blood Dagger does end up vanishing. Potentially could be a cloak shot of situation. Or maybe he does he just hold on to it. With this vanishes, he does have himself a lot of cooldown reduction on that cloak of shadows, which would be amazing for this guy. Rogue opens up with a shadow strike. Yet another fear. It's gonna be immediate trick and stun. Hey, finally able to get himself a proper setup onto the rogue. Could be a cloak of shadows. Hey, sure does have himself dispersed in case he needs to. Could just go for disperse. Trinket instead. Void Torrent trying to see if he can maybe back it passes. Does get short through holy. Maybe in a bad spot. May just want to go for disperse. That's a lot of damage by the rogue. Just ends up slamming and eviscerates it back to back. There goes the disperses. Blood dagger does get hit with a root. That's gonna be Hacer breaking out of the disperse very, very quickly. Kinda lower on health. This world blood dagger could maybe capitalize on the kill here. Still I got a mastery buff. Pretty big one too. It's gonna be quick fear. Does end up breaking it. Ages for the Hacer. Got him up wood eruption when to blast out of the rogue is going to try to see if he can chase after him on the mind flame sanity the more of those uh, sanity burns you could do the better honestly blood dagger does end up picking up himself up a little bit of health i think with his warlock health stone stun by haste void sword to follow get a shot i think it's just going to be over oh my god that she just barely even did anything for you my goodness with chicago going to be up next we are getting to kind of higher dampening tonight are we not fear by haste as he's gonna go, actually get juked out in an intro. Potentially could just go for a big cast on Chicago. Mind games will be intro. Actually, cannot be interrupted anymore. Only Sunder and maybe Grounding, but apparently already got used up. Gonna be Silence. Hey, so try to see if we can blast out Chicago. Siphon to slow down the Shaman for just a second. It's gonna end up zapping out that thing. Void Torn could get interrupted. Does end up juking that interrupt. Double tentacles on him. Potentially, Hey, could maybe go for more insanity. It's actually lots of damage by the Shadow Priest. Sun by Chicago. Does end up stopping the Priest also for just a moment. Second stun is able to juke out of it with a greater fate into a uh, or not a greater fade but they added like a new version of greater fade i think face shift i think it's face shift big damage out of chicago full of sentence of the ready hasten trying to see if he can fight right through it chicago the hold oh hasten doesn't have taken it oh my goodness this guy oh after fighting the rogue he's like wait an actual match oh i can actually play that Big Void Torrent to follow. Does know he's going to get interrupted. Big damage by the Baladin. It's going to go for phase shift for just a second into a Void Eruption. Trying to see if he can get interrupted. Does get, get interrupted either way. Though. Maybe in a bit of trouble. Ages is going to use up. Void Eruption to follow. Shield of Vengeance is going to pop by the Paladin. It looks like the Paladin's actually going to play super defensive. Back and away. It's Hacer. Was it no hope whatsoever? Hacer having to go for Disperse. And does have some power word life. As long as you can maybe go for a Dispel on the Bubble, you'll be okay. Definitely to Dispel the Bubble. Almost gets to... 
I don't think he was able to. Terra Bear's got himself a little bit of damage. No more wings at the same though, so maybe for Hatio this might be okay. Does fade that judgment for just a second. Definitely needs to get himself a little bit of recovery. PI to follow. Full road onto the Pala. Into Shadow Crash to follow. Pally does go on for the blind, but I don't think it's gonna be enough. The stun by Hatio. Does he have an out right now? He does have a human nature for this one. It's gonna be a siphon. Join in. Mind games. Get a juke down completely. Mind games would be perfect right now. If Hatio can get a, a mind flight insanity on the guy, that might be enough just to drain him down. Gonna be a stunner to Hatio. Does he have an answer here whatsoever? Damn, he got himself to does prepare. Does about all he can really do. Does prepare right now. He does get himself a little bit of healing. Is it enough to take down the Pally? The fear to follow. Do you have a big mind games in there? Trying to go for flash heal. Spell warded. Wait, Siphon may be able to do something right now. Siphon trying to see if he can make a play. Oh no, it doesn't matter though. I think in the end, he used a void torrent, but it was just all immune either way. The game still let him channel. But it was just a fake channel the entire time. My goodness, that spell at the end it was actually so, so close. It's going to be a stun. Turbo's bled up fully. There's literally nothing he could do. And it's going to be Hell up next. Fear not, Moon immediately in the opener. Hell trying to see if he can establish himself a better setup versus Moon, though. That is an Infernal. That is going to do quite a bit of damage. At 55% dampening, your healing is very limited. Especially with the portals. If you ever get hit by a portal initially, that tether is on you. That portal locked in. There's nothing you can do to deny it. Trying to go for a bit of bear form as well as a heart of the wild to increase his bear capabilities, his self-healing capabilities, as well as his ar arcane damage with that heart of the wild for a short time. Together with the wall as well as burst. Actually, maybe hold on a sec. Whoa! What was that, please? What was that? He just went on full berserk at the guy. Literally popped berserk, popped some of the biggest bleeds in there, got himself a good bite or two, and that was it. All of a sudden, hell got turned around upon. What was that? Moon Knight. He's got some bursts to him, apparently. Gonna be LFG. Try to see if we can get a better angle of the guy. It's gonna be Kenneth Shadow Follow. Got himself Shadow Blades as well. Moon Knight does let him shift him out of cat form. I don't even know if it helps it that much. Bear, in order to discombobulate LFG for just a second, but the rogue will not be deterred. Does end up going for a vanish. Very aggressive vanish. Thorns to follow. Try to see, I think, maybe go for a bash. Might have been a bash, and I think if it was a bash. And the rogue definitely had a natty dodge there. Keith tried to see if he could give himself big pressure. Bubble, wings, everything available. Final wreck. LFG is going to end up trying to see if he can escape him. Trying to go for a bit of a shadow step around the corner. Maybe a vanish situation. Still holding on to a cheat death. So he's going to be A-OK -okay for a good bit now. Instead of chasing after the rogue, Keith likes to reset entirely back to, I guess, away from any kind of pillars. Maybe that's what he wants to do. He wants to fight the rogue out in the open. He knows that chasing after the rogue is not worth it. Playing around those LOS spots with the ramps and the pillars is not worth it. Better put him out in the open where the rogue can't easily run away. Maybe a blessing protection situation right here. Might be in a bit of spot. Does he have an answer? Oh, it does not have an answer. It looks like LFG does not have taken him out. Conan, try to see if he can leap over there. Kind of running towards LFG. But he is mostly guessing in which direction the rogue might have sculpted off to him. Shadow Step by LFG does end up juking him out. Leap by Coda into a charge to intercept into a fear right after. Lock it down LFG for the second. Gouge to break out of the uh, Zerkers, but it's gonna be blind as soon as he breaks out of the uh, gouge. Does he still have a trinket? He used a human racial earlier though. So he will not be able to get access to a normal trinket for a good while. So for LFG, this is a situation where at least he can establish full control, but only if he's ever certain that he can live. Because you got evasion coming up very, very soon. Vanish coming back up. You either need a cloak, disarm, or an evasion in order to deal with some of the damage from the warrior. Kid is shot on Chikona. Does not go for the sacred technique just yet. Got himself evasion really early on. But a shockwave is going to be able to pierce right past it. You do end up tricking it to make sure you are maximizing the use of your evasion. None of the attacks are hitting your evasion for a moment as a vanish comes out for LOG. Does get a bit of damage on the Conan. I don't know if Conan is running second wind. Or is he not? I, I like some I, like right now. I'm not even seeing his health bar go up. I don't think he's second wind at all. Most warriors are get a shot. Secret technique. LOG does end up taking him out slowly but surely. Yeah, that I, it's definitely worth running a um, second wind. LFG with two, uh, with three. Really? I thought he should get three. No, Paladin did end up winning that one. I think he just got so close. I was just like already folded that idea into the brain, into my side of my brain that said, eh, "Priest won that one for sure." Because I feel like he always did.